Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I've got my guitar painted, got the body buffed out and everything, got everything ready to put back together. So what I'm going to be doing in this part of the video is installing the pickups that I showed you earlier, the 69 reissued. And I'm going to do a couple other things at the same time. Um, I decided not to relic the guitar out, so I didn't strip all the hardware off of it. If, if I was going to relic it, I would have took all the screws and, of course, relic the hardware and everything. But anyway, uh, I've left everything on the pick guard up to this point, but I am going to take everything off of it because there's a thing that I like to do when I switch the pickups out on any guitar um, I think it helps there's different methods of doing it different people on YouTube have videos there's different websites you can go to to find out different methods but it's just a little bit extra shielding to cut down on noise because single coil pickups are kind of known for that but I'm gonna strip everything off of here and instead of just the one area having the aluminum shielding on it. I'm going to coat the whole back of the pick guard and down inside the pickup cavities on the guitar body itself. Um, some people use copper. It's a little more expensive. They're, they're, you can buy kits online to do the same thing. Basically what I use is heavy duty Reynolds wrap aluminum foil and 3M spray adhesive. Um, everybody has their own method of doing things like this, but for the money, it's cheap, it doesn't take very much time, and I think on the guitars that I've done, it's made quite a bit of difference in them, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also, while I have this apart, and most of you already know this, this is basic stuff, but on a Stratocaster style guitar with three single coil pickups, You've got, unless it's an older guitar, which only had three-way selectors, most anything, unless it's something vintage or a vintage reissue, is going to have a five-way pickup selector. And what it does, in this position, you hear only your bridge pickup. In the next position, you hear the bridge pickup in the middle together. Third position, you hear just the middle pickup fourth position you get the middle and the neck and of course the fifth position is just the neck pickup. Uh, the only problem with this is with this setup right here you can't get your bridge and your neck pickup together at the same time and that's a sound that a lot of people like. I've, I've heard it on other guitars and um, it really it really a cool sound. Uh, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd, he was one of the first people I guess that, that did that. I'm sure there's been others. I, I'm not sure of the history on all that. But anyway, basically all you have to have, you can get one from a guitar supply store or if you have a Radio Shack or anything like that, you just have to have one of these little mini toggle switches. And I'll get into that a little bit more whenever I start wiring up the guitar. Um, I'm probably gonna, of course, to do this, you have to drill a hole in your pick guard. If you don't wanna do that, you can install a push-pull pot for one of your volume, for your volume or one of your tones and, and have it hooked up that way. I don't really mind having the extra switch. I'm going to probably put it down here below the two tone knobs out of the way. So that's not a big thing unless, you know, you don't just want to hide it completely. Then you can put the push-pull pot in it. But anyway, I'm going to strip all this stuff off of here. And usually when I do this, just to make it easier, um, I like to have everything still connected. Just flip it upside down. Take out your screws. Pull your volume knobs off and take off the nuts and everything and just let it all drop out together that way it's easy to put back in if you don't know what order things go in after you've done a few of these 
it's not a big deal. You pretty much know where everything goes, but if it's your first time doing something like this, you want to try to make things as easy as you can. So just, you know, a little tip. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things. Just because I'm doing it this way, that's not the means that that's the right way or the best way, or it's just the way that I like to do it, and it's what I've gotten used to. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and strip all this off of here, and I'm going to get the back of it coated with the foil, and then I'll start putting the electronics back in it and we'll uh, get into a little bit about soldering. Um, most of you probably already know how to solder. I'm not a soldering expert, but give you a couple of tips that maybe can help you, things that have helped me. Like I said, when I first started this project, the cool thing about these type guitars, you don't have to have a whole lot of tools to work on them. The majority of these guitars can be stripped apart with a Phillips screwdriver. Um, some type of adjustable wrench or sockets to take the nuts loose. You know, I have a, access to a lot of tools because, as I said, I own a body shop. But the thing, the, the whole point of these videos, I'm just trying to show you that you can do this stuff with basic tools. You don't have to have a, an elaborate amount of stuff to work on one of these things. Um, you know, when you get into the painting, it does require more equipment and more knowledge. But as far as what we're doing now, and just to show you, I've got a little kit here that I bought. All it is is just a cheap little case. Uh, I picked this thing up at Home Depot, I think, for like 20 bucks. And I've got pretty much all of my tools in it that I use to work on my guitars. And I can just carry this thing around with me. And got extra strings and different things in it. So, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get into something like this. There's, there's easy ways of doing it. Go ahead and strip this thing down and whenever we come back we'll be doing the solder and putting the electronics on it and everything. Everything stripped off my pick guard here and like I said a minute ago, I'm going to coat the whole back of it with this heavy duty foil. Just going to use some, this is 3M uh, Super 77. Any kind of spray of these adhesive, I'm going to take this out in the shop instead of doing it in here on the desk, but just going to spray the back of the pit guard and put a layer of the foil on it, come back and trim out around all the While I have this apart, I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole for my little mini toggle switch that I talked about earlier. Got the back of my pit guard covered with the foil, spray adhesive, sprayed it on. I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and trim out around it. Got the back of my pit guard here covered with the foil. A little bit extra shielding. I went ahead and put my volume and tone pots back in here. And also, while I had it back there, I drilled a hole, installed my little mini toggle switch for the modification I was telling you about. I went ahead and uh, soldered these connections on here because it's a little tedious doing that. It's really small and hard to get in that area and rather than trying to film that I just went ahead and got those ready.